right. Going to give Suzanne a moment to load in. There she is. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Gosh, you're seeing me twice in a day. Are you tired of me yet? Ah, never. <laughs> All right. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> So hi, everybody. For those who don't know, I'm Mandy, and I'm here playing a game with the awesome Suzanne. Hello, hello. Uh-huh. Exactly. Oh, can't hear Suzanne. Sorry, one second. Okay, maybe now? Yeah, well. And guess what? It's doing the robot voice again. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> okay, give me one sec. We're going to try and fix this. This happened last time. We, I don't know what is happening. Why? Why? <laughs> We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. Oh, dear. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> She's explaining yeah, yeah. the game, so this is kind of important. Otherwise, it's going to be a situation. All right. We're going to. Okay. okay. Can you talk for a second, Suzanne? Yes, I can talk a little bit. Robot, robot. Uh, 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 there we robot. go. Okay. So okay, try okay. that. And then I'll okay. have to fix it in our next scene. So can everybody let me know if you can hear Suzanne now? Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Arcane Wonders. That's so awesome to have you here. And thanks oh. for giving me the the subscriptions that's awesome so eclectic camel thank you so much and okay i'm just waiting for the go ahead yay all good oh my goodness look at all the things wacky i can't read it on my screen here but <laughs> wacky. wacky tabaxi tavern i love it sub fairy visiting thank you so much you're the best arcane wonder oh my goodness see this is what happens when suzanne comes online when i'm online nobody cares <laughs> <laughs> so this is it because i'm like as if all whatever the subscriptions I think people are just excited about sea salt and paper because I don't think a lot of people have been – I don't think there's been a lot on it, right? And so no. maybe they're just excited to see a cool game. Huh? Yes, huh? and I have to say shout out to our chat because I've seen so many streamers talk and then no one says anything. <laughs> that they can't hear them and they're like oh gosh no no like so i appreciate you're like on it so thank you. <laughs> the best. The best. <laughs> So yeah, so Sea, Salt, and Paper. This is a game that I first saw at Gen Con this year from Bombix. And Bombix had a real small booth, but it caught my eye. And even though I only played a couple of rounds, I was immediately intrigued. So right. I have a physical copy that I ordered from France, from philibert.net. Uh, and that's how I have a physical copy. But then they have this, this BGA, and bleh, it's like... <laughs> addictive because it's so easy to play daniel says that he's losing to ada all the time and hey daniel you and i should like let's <laughs> yeah let's, let's get it let's get it on this this is be fun let's see so mandy you have not oh and also i reviewed mm -hmm. sea salt and paper in the podcast episode that dropped today episode eight so mandy you have not played this at all right I have not. So, yeah, I'm going into this fresh. Any tips? Throw it in the chat, Suzanne. No peeking. <laughs> I, I, I will not unless it's to help you. Sure. So we're going to take at least this, you know, first game. We'll kind of – we're going to take it as a teaching game. So I, I'm, I won't go hard. I just oh, and then Horn is jumping in. Automa. Automa. Thank Automa. you. Automa. Horn okay. listen to our podcast <laughs> where we debated – where Mandy, you were in you were in high spirits when we recorded episode okay, eight, girl. Let's just be clear, as David, I don't know if David's in there today, but uh, what does he say? Flying, what is it? Flying free without a harness. That that was the situation. That was that was you. That was you. Episode <laughs> eight for sure. Had some Ric Flair and Farmer in the Dell, and I don't know where any of that was going. So thanks for that journey, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it was a journey. Uh, so sea salt and paper, for what it's worth, is just a little card game and. If nothing else, it's got this really cool aesthetic that you'll see in the cards in um, Board Game Arena. But the designers are Bruno Catala and Teo Rivier, which um, Teo designed uh, Draftosaurus and Bruno Catala designed, you know. Didn't Teo do, um, oh, what's that one? Uh, but, 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 it's a Pandasaurus game. The one that's in the pink box with the, the doctor. Well, he uh, did Luke. 
Loop, thank you. Okay, he did loop. loop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Teo's great. A great designer and, you know, in, in that French kind of group of designers over there. And so, and then of course, Bruno is Bruno. So uh, definitely some design cred here to catch your eye if nothing else. But uh, yeah, so Mandy, I'm going to try to, you know, just oh. focus on teaching and helping along the way. So yeah, so my screen is going to be the one on there. I mean, I guess you'll see all the things, but it's from my end. So um, yeah, no judging. So let's <laughs> let's go over and let, let's let take a look at it. Okay, so, so give me a moment, Suzanne, because I do have to yeah. your, uh, fix your voice. On Audio. One. Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah. <laughs> fix your voice. Hold on. Yeah, they're not going to hear you. So let me just uh, add you. -da 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 -da, the joys of streaming. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, oops. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do a little quick test here. <laughs> hey, oh, David, you missed a little. So, can everyone hear Suzanne here? We're going to do a little. All right, test, test, test. Check. How do you? Tap, yeah. tap. Check, I can just mime this, like, like exactly. Take a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Play the card. Okay, they can hear you. Thank you for confirming. You're a penguin. Yeah. Or maybe I should just mute her and you can continue. No, no, yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, I'm just Nobody. kidding. All right, so here we are. Sea salt and paper. And of course, it's got this. I mean, I don't know. I assume the name comes from the fact that somebody had this random idea to hire origami artists to do origami figures. Whatever. It looks amazing. So more power to them. Um, but this is actually just a, a set collection card game. So, Mandy, we're going to get all these cards, uh, and there's two discard piles that you can see there, right? Yep. And then a deck. Okay. So on your turn, you are going to draw uh, one of the face-up cards from the discards, one mm -hmm. of those, or you can draw from the deck. If oh. you draw from the deck, you get two cards. You pick one to keep, mm -hmm. and then you pick which discard pile a card goes into. Got it. Okay. And figuring out, like, keeping your eye on the discard piles and what's in each discard pile is is somewhat important to the game because that's definitely um, definitely part of the strategy of the game as well. Okay. Now, you can see up here right now, we have two samples of cards here. We have a fish and we have um, a sailor, the captain. Okay. So... The fish is an example. It's a fish on a dark blue background, and then the captain is on, like, that peachy, light orange background. Uh -huh. So the background colors of the cards do matter. Hey, Gameritis guy, nice to see you. Oh, hey, um, hey. So the fish, you will have different art, but you're really paying attention to the icon in the top. So we have a fish card uh -huh. and then the captain card. So what the captain card says is that the captain will count for three points for each sailor card that you have. So there's other cards in the deck that are sailors. So you're mm -hmm. going to try to find sailors. Sailors, I will tell you right now, Mandy, are very rare. I think there's only two in the deck for oh. what it's worth. Okay. But this is a game that the round typically ends around 7 to 10 points. So it's a PowerPoint move if you can pull it off. Right. So kind of that high risk, high reward thing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the fish are not great points. But you'll see the fish icon has, you know, fishy fish. And then what the iconography is really telling you is if you get um, two fish, yeah. you may play. It doesn't matter what color they are. You may play them in a pair, and then you will get one card from the top of the deck into your hand. It's okay. just luck what it is. But sure. that's saying – but getting more cards in this game is typically good, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's going to be other cards that will be like – Crabs, crabs, if you play two, it lets you pick a discard pile and pull a card of your choice from it. Okay. Sharks get paired with a swimmer card. That lets you steal a card from your opponent. Ooh, God darn shark. <laughs> Freaking You mean Ashley? Like, when did that? I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, seriously. Well, oh, I'm going to call the swimmer <laughs> Ashley. No, the shark Ashley. The shark I'm is the Ashley. swimmer. <laughs> We're the swimmers. <laughs> Ashley's the shark. The shark. Um, and then there's a very important card, a mermaid. There are four in the deck. And you can basically instant win if you get four mermaids. Because four mermaids will give you 100 points. Game over. Oh, my God. Um, and so, uh, but they also will score. So if you have a mermaid and you have 
three dark blue cards, she will count for three points. If you have a mermaid and four orange cards, she will count for four points. So basically, the mermaid scores for color collection. That's where you care about the background color of the cards. Okay. 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 All right. So it is your turn. On your turn, you're just going to either pick one of those two face-up cards or draw from the deck. And again, if you draw from the deck, you're going to get two cards. You pick one to keep and pick a discard pile to discard it into. Okay. Before I pick, I see David. I thought Sea Salt and Paper was the new channel name. Doesn't quite have the same ring. Fluffy Thimble, Sea Salt, and Sassy Paper. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. Yeah, <laughs> workshop it a little bit. Workshop it a little I bit. I feel like it was like, you know, like sea salt and paper. It's like paper, rock, scissors. So it could be mm -hmm. like sea, salt, paper. Got I feel it. like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a thing. I really, I should, I, I talk a little bit to Tao on, on social media. I should ask where the name came from. Yeah, I'd be curious. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I don't. So I can't see what your, what your options are. Now, if you want to teach as a, if you want to treat this as a teaching game and you want advice, ask and i will sure so in. i am i am asking for advice i know people have played this so they could also jump into and actually i just realized today the delay on twitch is so much smaller than on Good. youtube so tested that out today um i don't know what is that a penguin yep there's penguins and so a penguin if you look at the upper right hand corner basically penguins score the more you have so if you have one penguin it's one point Right. Now, it's pretty rare for cards to count as points on their own. So that's why the penguin is good. So it's one point if it, you have one penguin. If you get a second penguin, together they count as three points. And if you get that third penguin, all three of them together count as five points. And again, right. this is a game that typically around ends around seven points. So five points for three cards is a good can be a good move. And crabs, remind me again. Yep, no problem. So crabs will, if you play them in a pair... They let you pick a discard pile right. to dig through and pick a card to take and keep. They also, the pair will also count as one point. I love this. You highlight over the card and what? Oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. The, absolutely. If you ah. hover over the card, it will tell you what it does. So that's oh. very helpful. Okay. I'm going to take that one and we'll choose. Uh, oh, uh, you must choose a discard pile. I see for the other one. Um, yep. I need to see what so you can cover up the fish or cover up the captain. Oh, hi. We're covering you. <laughs> I okay. just realized how many right. points that was. And then you need to hit the end turn button. Oh, yeah. It'll do it eventually. Yep, but yep. No, that's, that's moving, important. Maybe. Keep it moving. All right. So I'm going to take from the deck. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes, because we cannot see what's happening in the chat here. I wonder if the actual game comes with instructions to make the paper craft because it's lovely. That would be super cool i know like origami i was really into that when i was a kid i used to do a lot of that so mm -hmm. i would be origami is great for that so i took a card and i discarded the um penguin colony card so if you take the penguin colony card at the end of, you will ha get two points per penguin card that you have well that seems nice and then there's you know the the crab that you discarded previously oh. so you can draw from the top of a discard or draw two cards from the deck Oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I think I'll do that. Yes. Cool. We'll see. The first game might be a little bit of a... But... Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to do that. It's so weird because yours are hidden and mine. So I thought yours were going to be out as well. So I'm like, I was just about to say, oh, yeah, this is what I have going. No, no, no. It's it's secret. Because uh, what we're doing right now, Mandy, is that you can see um, how many points you have. Yes. Right? When you have seven points, or when I get seven points, we will have the option to end the round. Got it. Uh... And this is like <sighs> the key to the game is when you end the round. So as we get a little closer. Right. This... Or if you get to seven points, let me know. We'll this talk. hand that I just pulled is garbage, and I wish I could tell you why. It's good hand, but they did not need to come But out is it hard way. choices? Yes, and it's like <laughs> it's it's like a hard choice, but it's not good for me either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, yeah, Willie, that that's right. This is the hidden win round. Yeah, you declare stop or stop last chance and kind of push your luck. Maybe that one will work? Question mark. Yolo. It's it's a learning game, right? Ah, you put 
that the swimmer you discarded a swimmer all right all, yeah, right, all right yeah yeah so yeah please jump in if you've played this and you're like mandy absolutely not <laughs> write it in the chat well oh. there's always a delay right so did you take that swimmer no i discarded a crab over it oh well that's not very nice either <laughs> Hmm. Well, does that mean you had a shark? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. <laughs> Your no poker clue. face, man. I Just know, right? primo stuff. Primo. <laughs> Whatever could it have been? <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's good. Uh, let's do that. Regerts. So many regerts. And... Oh, I don't know about this. Okay. And this is a game, it, re it relies on a little bit of memory, and my memory, well, it's... Uh, That's real rough. And so I play this good. a lot async on Board Game Arena, and it's one thing I have found is that in a real-life game, um, the crabs feel better because mm. it's easier to remember. But if you're playing multiple games at the same time or right. playing where you've got, like, hours between turns... yeah. Because the crabs let you dig through discard piles, right? I have long forgotten whatever was in that discard pile by sure. the time I can play crabs, right? Exactly. So it's, it's a little a little iffy. So, all right. So do you only um, get the ability once you meet the requirement or as soon as you... So here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take the fish yep. from the discard. I thought you might. Now it lets me play cards as a duo. So I have two fish. So I'm going to say play selected cards. Right. And what that does is it... Um, because of the fish's ability, the fish just the the top of the 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 draw pile just instantly went into my hand. Okay, right, and that is the end of my turn. Well, this is some not bad at all. And you can see, like with the sailboat, the sailboat lets you take another turn if you play two sailboats. Oh. And keep in mind, you know, Mandy, I have at least one point because a pair of fish counts for right. one point. That's what the number one on it means. Oh, well, I'm not about this life at all. Ugh. I also don't want to do this because I just, oh, gosh, the decisions. And I think the origami art is really cool. At first, I thought all of the origami was unique. And then I realized, no, it's not. But they took the time to arrange them differently. So even though there's re repeats in the the paper craft yeah. the scenes are all a little different and i just thought that was really really nice no it's very pretty. okay a jello fish well yeah. i don't want a jello fish okay i'm gonna draw from the draw pile oh, oh. i thought i was giving you a present there <laughs> no and i have to i feel compelled to take a card because i know you took that penguin colony i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> mm. so yeah definitely a little bit of like remembering what your opponents took right Yes. <gasps> Which Ooh, the deny draft and the push your luck is a huge thing in this game. Oh, okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Oh, forget that. I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> forget that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, sure. Ooh, a shellboat, huh? <laughs> that sometimes you get stuck with it and you're like what oh I, I know what I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna take a sailboat she's got plans I'm gonna play my crabs crabby crab crab and I'm going to pick this discard pile and I'm gonna take another sailboat oh now who has two sailboats in their hand this girl so I'm gonna go ahead and play two sailboats that lets me take another turn. So I does it tell you when you have to play? Because I'm like hoping I don't have to. It it will remind you. It'll okay. say you may play, play okay, a pair. Okay, good, good, good. I was like, duo. hopefully I didn't miss anything. And it's like, oops, should I have done so that? I played two cards and I got lucky. Okay, so I'm not trying to go hard on you. No, I never played it. So, And let's be clear. I have very poor memories. So, so mm -hmm. I am playing my shark and my swimmer. Which lets me steal a card. So when I steal a card, I just tap on your row. I it's it's random. I don't get to pick a card. So I stole a card. Ooh. No, I was okay with that actually. No, I yeah. No, I stole your penguin. 
nope, was not okay with that. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad, that's like, because I know you have that penguin quality. Ugh. All right. That's unfortunate. So I now have, you, you don't know this, but I know this. I have seven points of cards in my hand. That's good. So now the game gives me the option. Ah, to play out all your points. To, to, to call the round. Oh. It's, Gameritis guy, it's it's immersive <laughs> teaching, right? Immersive, <laughs> iterative teaching. Uh-huh. <laughs> um. Well, no. Let's face it, Mandy, and you know this, and I, I know you're going to back up what I say. Yeah. I could explain every card ability to Mandy up front. She will have stopped listening to me after the second one. Exactly. There's no point. Oh. Absolutely no point. <laughs> so I mean. Mandy and I play games together so much. I yeah. know. I know how it works. Yeah. Gotta, gotta keep All it quick right. and snappy. <laughs> so I have the choice to just say, hey, end of the round. If I say end round, stop. Yeah. You will score the points you have in your hand, and I will score the points I have in my hand. Oh, well, this isn't going to be very good at all. <laughs> However, I can make it even worse, potentially. Yeah. This is the push your luck thing. I can oh. say end round, stop. Last chance. I can give you one more chance, Mandy, and I, um, I think I'll do that. I'm but generous. It, it's risk for me, and basically... You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it... So I'm going to hit the last chance button. Sure. So I have seven points. You need to get eight or more points. If you can get eight or more points, then my <laughs> risk will not have paid off. I couldn't have pil- picked the two worst cards ever. For my situation. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. It actually doesn't even matter. They're both t- all terrible. Okay. Uh, and sure. Again, just a learning game, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so end your turn. And I'm I'm waiting to see what you had. I got oh, all two okay. points. If I had so my... So let's pause here. Yeah, if I had my penguin, I might have got an extra little point. So you should be able to scroll down and see my hand. Yeah. So there you go. Right. So looking at your hand, I can, and I can see it. You got a mermaid. Nice. Yes. That was up. There. Um, you have two sharks. Now I may not have made this clear, but the shark needs to be paired with a swimmer. Oh no, you did. Not another shark. Couldn't okay. get a swimmer. So basically anything you okay. see there, I was like waiting for the thing to come up and then it either got covered or it just didn't come up. <laughs> so hey, one- deadpan. We're one- playing sea salt and paper. One of them, when I was like, oh, this is the worst, it's because I had the swimmer and the shark together in a hand. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, oh, for the love. <laughs> well, and it's really interesting that as we play, I found that the different people I play with, we we do different metas. Like some people play really aggro and yeah. the, the sharks and swimmers are really valuable. Some people like to go for these set collections like the octopus card you have. Mm. Some people like to really lean into things like that. And um, everything just, yeah. All right, so that's just the first round. The, the The game ends based on player count and, and when somebody hits a certain point threshold. So you can hit, you've see. seen the end result. Okay. It's going to shuffle everything up, deal new ones, and then you will be able to start again. And so we're just, you'll see in the top right of the screen that I have 11 points and you have two. Oh, well, that's nice, eh? Well, right. again, <laughs> I've played like, 50 times you played none <laughs> there i don't think that would matter so <laughs> here we are uh, and chat if you have any questions about the game feel free to drop them into chat and let me know um i will do my best to answer them yeah chat's like super quiet tonight yeah that's okay i don't mind lurkers it's nice just to have friends no i mean all of those things are lovely Eh, see here's the thing it's like drawing the cards it's like should i take what's here but then if you draw a card you could be like literally putting up something even better for somebody else exactly well that's some garbaggio there is just like this constant push your luck risk reward kind of feel to the game that i find really enjoyable I don't know if I'd like it in a longer game, but because this game is pretty quick and snappy, it, it works for me. Oh, some people are still at work. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and I keep forgetting people are in different time zones and stuff. So, no, we still appreciate you being here. I'm so used to our chat being super chatty. So, people do work. Yeah, to be fair, it's it's only 4.30 here where I am, Mandy. Yes, I know. For me, it's later. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, this is something. 
really unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, Mandy, I know you're going to, I know that there's weather issues, but, um, oh, wait, Game Riders guy, is there any other risk penalty if the person that initiated last chance loses apart from losing? Well, yeah, I, so you lose and it changes how you score. So, basically, when you do a last chance, whoever loses only scores their color bonus. Right. Whoever wins scores their points and their color bonus. So you could have six points of cards in your hand, but if every card is a different color and you you. lose, you're going to get one point. So at least go for cards that are the same color if you can. Often, often that that pays off. If it gets to that point, yeah. Well, this is an interesting looking. So, you know, why not? I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the the last chance actually has a fair amount of risk. And I think as I've played um things like how deep into the round are you? Does your opponent have a ton of cards too? If so, then that last chance feels even riskier. Oh, I So if I'm, you win with the last chance, you get your points and you get a color bonus. So um yeah it's very fast oh you took it i know i was about to play something and i was like uh and then it was done (laughs) so are you supposed to play them or do you just keep them in your hand what when it says you could play your cards like if you have cards to play or whatever if you have a pair you should you should typically play there's a little bit of strategic timing yeah but especially if you think somebody's sharking and swimming yeah the risk of them stealing those yeah fair point fair point uh, yeah, the the color bonus that's at risk. Well, yeah, if you call last chance, it's your score that's at risk. Oh, it's this one. I keep clicking the wrong thing. If you thing. win, you get your score and the color bonus. I keep so. clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, that so, seems Because the timer's like five seconds, and I'm like, oh, by the time I figure it out, it's closed. Oh, that's nuts. Okay. There, there shouldn't be a timer. There is. If I don't click it fast enough, it, like, locks me off. So if you do something right now, I'm going to be so mad because I wanted to play this three times now. and I keep missing it. Huh. Uh, okay. Well, let's hope it works out that I that doesn't happen. Oh, well, that's interesting. Uh... Oh, Gamer Ice Guy is saying this reminds him of Ice Cool's minor reveal to one point cards to take another turn of mechanic. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I vaguely remember that rule. Vaguely. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Do you need, do you have a question? Oh, I didn't. Oh! Hey, oh! Okay. I didn't mean to do that, actually, but sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, so you've given me a last chance. I didn't I want to. It hand. was an accident. <laughs> Don't. Okay, so you've revealed. I got nervous and I pressed the wrong thing. <laughs> well, so I'll tell you, I have three points in my hand. Okay. So you have seven. I have to beat you to 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 do this. So it's not a. <laughs> I think I have to draw from the deck. <gasps> oh. Son of a biscuit. This is not... So I'm going to take this. It gave you two, right? That you needed both of them, probably? No, no, no. Oh. It's it's that I now have a shark and a swimmer. But right. if it doesn't do anything, I cannot... In, it, it counts as a point. Right. But it will not let me steal from you after you've revealed. Right, after I've played. Uh, game right, this guy, so yeah. I only got four points. I make all the sounds. <laughs> so instead of getting my four points, I only get my color bonus. I see. And because you won your bet, you get your seven points plus your Conola bonus of two because right. you have two light blue cards, right? Yeah. Would have been nicer too. Yeah. So I had tried to play things so many times, but there is a bit of a timer there. So I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's making me nervous. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> so got to let everyone see what's on the up and up here. I see. Yeah. You like those crabs, don't you? <laughs> I see. I see. Every game is different. Uh, uh. I'll take a pretty fish. Fish. (laughs) 
All right, let's see. Oh, I have to take. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's just see what's on the what's happening here. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Oh, there we go. I like it. I like but, it a lot. But you can see how quick the game is, right? Yeah, like it's pretty snip snappy. What is happening? Snip snappy need. Snip snap. Snip snap. Snip snap. Snip snap. Snip snap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. So, Mandy, I know you're trying to go to see family for the holidays. When you get together with your family, do you play board games or is it not something that, that's like a tradition in your family? Oh, yeah. We play the board games and uh, there's always someone who gets cranky. <laughs> oh, is it? it is it is it you? Oh, it's not me. My cranky? brother's so competitive, like not in a bad way. Oh. Like he just gets really into it, and then the kids are into it. And, oh yeah, games have always been around for us. Uh, That's what, awesome. Yeah. What about you? Um, not so much to be honest. Like we may do some, but it's mostly like there's a lot of football. <laughs> Watching football, there's a lot of snacking, like a lot of American, a football. lot of cooking. yeah, American okay. football, and then like a lot of watching football. Got it. Um, so yeah, got you, got you. Which is all right. I mean, I like. I'm like one of those people that likes to like watch movies all day. You know, like Home Alone, all the you know Christmassy mm -hmm. type movies. Anybody who's not just lurking in the chat, and hey, lurking is more than welcome. Like, do y'all play games during the holidays, or is it more just you know uh, there's so much going on or whatever? Other people don't like games or or what have you. Yeah. Um, I'm curious. Let us know um what your kind of board game holiday traditions are if you have any mm -hmm. okay 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 how are you feeling mandy are you starting to feel like you get a feel for the game yeah no i get the game i'm not loving this timer though <laughs> i i i'm sorry i could have sworn yeah when it goes oh. in turn you get six seconds to to make your decision to end your turn or play selected cards and it got takes it. a minute to like got register it. <laughs> like got it yeah yeah play. yeah i get that <laughs> So, but it's all good. That's fair. That's fair. I can understand that. Oh, so yeah. So Hornet is playing. saying that sometimes the family wants to play and sometimes they don't. Fair. If I'm with like my um, like family that's in the states and stuff, like my uncles and whatnot, uh, my fam I come from a family of chess players, like hardcore oh. chess players. I do not play chess, so it gets a little. That's a little like it's quiet, but you can tell when someone's like seething because someone Hence. took their move. It's actually rather nice. amusing. <laughs> What? So David, yeah, collect a camel saying, oh, I'll be playing games for sure. <laughs> rub it in, David. Just, just rub it in, David. <laughs> exactly. You took that fish, didn't you? Of course you did. I did. I know you did. Oh, hot diggity darn. I mean, I just, I lucked into something. Of course you did. Game uh. Rides guy says, holiday spot it gets a lot of play. Hey, hey. <sighs> Who doesn't love a good game of spotty? You know what I'm saying? This is the worst. I keep getting like combinations of cards that you don't want together. You want them separate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And unfortunately, I'm going to take a card that does nothing for me, but that's okay. Yeah, I, that that happens, unfortunately, sometimes. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, you got six points, but yeah. unfortunately, you're only going to get your so color. So close. Button. So close. I Literally, the thing I wanted, it was like, they were two together. I'm like, no. <sighs> oh, Plumpy Thimble has a copy of Four Player Clask under the Christmas tree. Ooh. I have not had a chance to experience the four. I mean, Clask is amazing, right? Yeah, it's but so I have not actually played the four player version. It's in a circle board, Mandy. I mm -hmm. oh, I hope it's a huge hit, Daniel. I'd love to hear how it goes over after you get to play it. <laughs> oh no, my seven year old just heard. Oh no. <laughs> <gasps> yeah just what i don't i don't i think you're talking about the wrong game suzanne i don't think that yeah i don't i don't know i don't think that's but, what you meant yeah right i the, think you meant cascadia the, the candy cascadia. yeah cascadia. cascadia with the animals that yeah. that one the I four think, player one but yeah that's the one <sighs> Oy, what is happening right now sucky do well, I'm not a fan here, but if I can make this happen, it would be great. But it's not. Ugh. Poop a loop. Yeah, this isn't going well. I had like a moment of a surge of yes, and then it went no. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Yeah. 
This, this is a, uh, of a mess. Yeah. I honestly, right now, I'm like so distracted because I just feel like the worst person in the world. Oh, no. <laughs> just like, oh, dear. Oh, you revealed some cards. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. I mean, it still doesn't. Oh. This is some poop. I'm not here for this at all. Well, if I'm going to go, then I might as well do that. Sure. Why not? I'm just giving them away at this point. <laughs> uh, this is not going well, everybody. At all for me. So, I, 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 okay, again, it's your first game. Yeah, but still, I feel like I'm just like, I keep getting pairs of things together that I don't yeah. want together. Yeah. And it's like, darn it. <sighs> Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't think I like the sounds of that. But that's the game, right? And I I, I don't know anything about yes! designing games. Yeah. But I always... Uh-oh. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. I finally caught something that works for me. Okay. Congratulations. Uh... Should I be worried? Oh, I should be worried. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I choose a card from your hand, eh? Um... Yeah, you click on my... It, but it, it's random yes no <laughs> no yes! a win finally a win <laughs> oh that's the worst oh. you're the worst person in the world after me i'm clearly the first worst person in the world because uh oh I did bad things. oh you get to go through the discard yeah well that's a nice because i played crabs a little crabs. thingy those little clicky claw crabs digging through. <laughs> I swear, my thing is like all over the place. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. All yeah, over... I don't know anything about game. Like the <laughs> part of the game, right, where you get forced into choices <laughs> so in someone, a really interesting way. I, David, I have meant to get rid of that. I need to fix it. So Suzanne, I'm sure, did not hear it. I heard it in all its it glory, but um. Yeah, there's a sound when you play um, one of the effects. And <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm I'm curious. What what I I'm going to have, gonna to, have replay. to replay this because I have no idea what just happened. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I wanted I was going to ask David to try it, to try it now that I have the right audio thing on. I've been testing it out and it's not always working. So David, if you're still there, try another one. And I need to know if it's picked up. If not, I got to figure out what's going on. Because I 100% heard it. So, <laughs> Oh, gosh. Did you hear it? Because I heard it. <laughs> Wait, I need to know if everybody heard that or not. Because if it worked, finally it's fixed. <laughs> I need it to tell me. Oh, they heard it. Oh, it is working. Oh, I did fix it. So, just be clear, Suzanne can't hear it. <laughs> no, the way that the stream works, and I you know, I have the Twitch stream muted, and I just listen through uh, the streaming service we're using. I literally was like, bah! I was like, it's scared. <laughs> Why would you create that on the stream? It wasn't even the good air horn, like, bah, 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 bah. it was like that. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, well, someone clip it so Suzanne can hear it because she just kept talking and I'm just like, what is happening? <laughs> I'm sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be. I, I can't wait to hear it. That's. Uh, oh, God. That's wow. So good. Okay. I mean, I'm happy because it finally worked. I was having problems with it not working. So when the chat was like, no, we heard that. No, did you really hear it? <laughs> David, that was well worth a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's funny. I didn't even hear it, but that's funny. <laughs> Wait till you hear it. Oh my god, it's funny. Oh, why would you add that to the stream, you weirdo? <laughs> because so some of weird. the sounds are pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Just saying. Oh god, I'm crying because that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, what did you took? You you took you took that shell. Okay. Yeah, enjoy all right, it. All right. Enjoy enjoy the leftovers. I'm sure you could use something. Oh, 
didn't opt for that. I'm surprised. Well, no, I you did. I already covered it up. Oh, fair point. Fair point. Fair point. Hello. Uh oh. Why'd you take the shark? Oh no! Baby this is not shark. going well. I'm just gonna say I'm a good teacher. <laughs> Not mad at it. <laughs> wow. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you just stopped. You didn't last chance it. No. So I get two points, and you get seven. Whereas if you had last chanced, yeah. and you would have won, bonus. you would have gotten ten points oh, okay. instead of seven. See, I wasn't sure, so I'm like testing out all the things. So. Yeah, totally. No, actually, like we said, learner's game. Learner's game. <laughs> so let me explain my face. First of all, it scared me at first. <laughs> let me explain my face. No, and then I was like, Suzanne did not hear it because she's not hearing the stream. So she didn't hear it. And then I was like, is everybody else hearing it? Because it wasn't working. But then I was like, it worked. Oh, my God. So it was like a mixture of emotions there. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. So now that we've unlocked this door, <laughs> I'm sure we'll hear more fun sounds. Listen, I even I even uh, made a couple uh, personal ones in there. You know, our favorite one. Don't ever talk to me like that. <laughs> That's a very good one. That's in there. Oh, Mandy. Oh, God, I have time on my hands, apparently. Oh, fuck you do. All right. All right. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> no. You took a shark or something, didn't you? I sure didn't. <laughs> mm. Sometimes those sailors are so tempting. Yeah. Why not? Yellow. That's true. Because if you get two of them, it's five points. It's just really hard to get two of them. Yeah, I noticed that. I was thinking about it, and I'm like, oh. They're, yeah, is... they're they're really kind of risky it's because tricky. of that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that one. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's hope this works out for me. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you're getting all jazzy now. You get a little air horn action and you're all <laughs> enervated. Wow. It's like it's it all takes. It's like, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like Mandy's awake now. Apparently, my God. Oh, sorry. I need a sip of water here. Woo. <laughs> You're like, I'm I'm tired now. I had so much fun with the air horn. I need to refresh. Wow. Of course it had to be David. Of course. Oh, please. Such a troublemaker. <laughs> oh, sugar and spice. This is this is fantastic. Um, well, I do like that card, but not the card of my dreams, unfortunately. Okay, we'll do that. I'm about it. I'm about it. Oh, whoopsie. Made a boo-boo, but we'll try that again. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I know huh? I I know that um some who was it that said, "Oh, it'd be cool if they did in like the origami instructions." But I'm looking at this some of these are like some of these are really complex looking pieces of origami. I know. I remember and I know mine that was they, simple. And I know that they hired like professional origami artists. So yeah. Even if they did provide the instructions or on how they did it, I'm not sure right. it would be. I'm not sure I could ever follow It'd be them. hard. It'd be tricky. Because it's really. Because these look really. Yeah. I'm looking at Like I could do the sailboat. I bet I could do the boat. <laughs> Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I could probably do that. The boat looks good. And we did that actually at work. Someone uh, who um, does it showed our entire team how to do it. And I was like, oh, so it's been a while. Um, almost the end of my work day from Gamer this guy, but I had to stay focused. Airhorn was much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad because Suzanne's the only one who did not experience that l loud wail. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, what's? Oh, it's me. Sorry, I'm diddling around here. My apologies. Uh, hello. Damn air horn! <laughs> it just threw me off. It threw me off. Well, that's some garbaggio. Okay, let's try that. You were right, guy. If you're looking at BGG, you're not staying focused. Stay focused. <laughs> Day's almost done. You can do it. I believe in you. Board oh, game. Get up, may play card duo. 
Oh, oh, second Hey-o. turn. Hey-o. <laughs> I'm hoping for good. Well, that was not what I was hoping for. I'll take it, but it ain't the card of my dreams. Uh... Gamer Ice Guy says it's funnier because it interrupted me. The air horn like blew over me. No, it really did. You were talking and it was like, Mah! and I'm like, and you were on my screen, you were like frozen for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's a reason we don't let people follow me around <laughs> in real life with an air horn, because it would just be going off and on stop. Can you imagine a convention if, like, you followed me around with an air horn? <laughs> that would be... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't even believe I said that out loud, because I yeah, probably put an because now you know free. someone is literally going to follow you around at a convention who with an air horn. <laughs> yeah, it would be you. Speaking of following around uh, at a convention, I mean, I did follow you around in your little accessibility <laughs> motorized scooter yeah, at Pax Unplugged. That was a hazard in that thing, let's be clear. <laughs> you, like, look, you were. Let's be real. Like, you rah, were. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so funny. And then oh, God. making the, ba- the since there were no backup beeps. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Making the backup beep noise oh, for you, which definitely time. didn't embarrass you at all. So it was no, great. No, of course not. Uh, well, I don't like any of those options. All these options are garbage. Oh, hey, Elaki. Poopy. Oh, we are playing Sea Salt and Paper on Board Game Arena. This is a card game from Bombix Studios, and so great it's on BGA because uh, my understanding is that this will be available to be purchased in North America in Q1. So, so um, early. No, no, no. This is available now. It's Joan of Arc Drawn, right? That's available. Okay. Slivers. Slivers. Thanks for the hype. Woohoo. So Woo. are we uh, We playing Elden Ring after this stream so I can get my butt kicked? <laughs> <laughs> dang mandy you are on fire with the streaming well today it's because i just i know and then i'll have a dr- like i'll have a drought where i'm like mm, no thank you <laughs> oh, what oh it was close i'm sorry what now what just i happened? ended the round well that was rude <laughs> it was but i'm so glad i did so this is a great example right because i ended with seven points you had six points yeah. and if i had pushed my luck if i'd gone last chance you would have beaten me so oh <laughs> no it's not game right this guy that's me every time i do this game <laughs> look what i wrote on the title let me fix it oh that's funny i'm not on there we see. go no i put i have to tell myself every time i type the name of this game don't type pepper don't type pepper oh <laughs> and i wrote pepper <laughs> Oh, good gravy. And yeah, that is definitely punny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was close. And yeah, I was like looking for yellow cards at this point because I knew you were close. So I was like, give me just yellow cards. Yeah, and very, very smart. So I am very glad I did not. <laughs> Woo! Oh, goodness. So yes, came right this guy. I have fixed it, but that is rather amusing. I literally want to say pep- pepper but it's paper i don't even know why does pepper sound like it would go there or maybe it's just a me thing? yeah it does well and also it's salt right salt and pepper yeah i think point. your brain fair naturally point. i just yeah it just oh instantly oh i see how it is all right all right swim it swim it swim it so this is mandy's first play of this game right <laughs> and there is one pair of cards that you can play that goes super aggro on your opponent and Little Miss Thing over here has clearly decided what type of player she wants to be. Well, 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 uh, I only took it so you didn't take it. That's the only reason. I wasn't. Like, I. How dare you? You don't know me. Pardon? You don't know me. <laughs> oh goodness! My ten-year-old came home with that joke the other day. <laughs> what do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And you have to do it. You have to laugh because it's cute. Oh, it's I me. mean, it is kind of cute. It me. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. Poop a loop. It's not about it. Don't say poop a loop and then make that noise. That's gross. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is your problem, weirdo. 
Oh, I know. So wait, I'll let you read. Oh the no, I'm I not choose. playing that. I would. I should never have said that joke out loud. I don't know why I told. Now Hornus is in chat. What do you call a deer with no eyes? <laughs> what? Well, but there's no eyes in the word deer. I don't. If Slivers told his teenagers <laughs> the fish joke and they laughed. Hey. <laughs> I made a teenager laugh today. Great. Right? That's so good. I mean, that that's, feels like an accomplishment, to be sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, oh, gosh. I just saw the answer. <laughs> no idea. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you call a deer with oh. no eyes? No idea? Oh, no. That's amazing. I'm here for it. That's so oh. good. So good. <laughs> oh, we got to hurry up and end this game. Mandy. Like enough, like... Play faster. Do it. Because <laughs> I feel like this is going to, I feel like we've started something I regret. It's going to escalate. Yeah, this turn yeah, for this me is, is not. With this kind of chat, there's just no. Game right this guy. No yes. Poop a loop is great. Just when you've, you know, you're doing things, things are not going your way. Just ah, poop a loop. That is all thanks to my friend Tracy. She's the one who got me started on that. <laughs> Oh, well, hello. I'll take you. Why? No. Uh -oh. All right. Noted. And Mandy took a shell. Don't give her any more shells. Well, crap. <laughs> no, that's so that's when you say poop a loop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let that be your thing. My thing. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, so here's one of these things. I don't want to give you either of these cards. But you must give me one. <laughs> but I must, I must, I must give you one. <laughs> hey, take your damn shell. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Doing the shell shimmy. I don't know if I get I'm so upset about a stupid seashell right now. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> hmm. Is it though, Mandy? Is it? It is. It is. No. It, 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 say, it, pas mal. <laughs> no. Très mal. <laughs> What is happening with my hand? It's like a hot mess of garbage. No, it's really terrible. <laughs> Get right, this guy. Poop a loop reminds me of all those animated poof, poop gifts from Remember dot, 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 Pepperidge Farms. Oh, it's because it's. Oh, that's oh, okay. Blink. Don't worry. Yeah, it's okay. Just stars it. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Why do I. Was that like a thing in Canada? I feel like I don't know it. <laughs> I don't know if it's Canadian. Dookie talk. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm so here for this. Uh... There we go. Oh, last chance. <laughs> last chance. Oh, yeah. no. Dookie.com. Oh, my goodness. All this talk reminds me of. So I used to eat this cereal, Cashy Go Lee. No, don't. Dookie.com reminds you of a cereal you used to no, eat? No, because Cashy Go Lean was like, it was so delicious. It was so good. And then I was like, why is my stomach hurting me all the time at work? Like, hurting me so bad. Come to find out, it was, it gives you serious gas, okay? TMI, whatever. <laughs> it was awful. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. There was a website dedicated to to cashy cereal because it caused so much painful gas for people and i think it was like something like cashy go farts or something like this <laughs> and the stories i was crying like people in church they're like i was in church and couldn't hold it and my son was like go go to the bathroom and let it out not on purpose but because it was just so much anyway i cried i cried so much after that site because it was hilarious and i felt the pain because i had been there <laughs> Sorry. Oh, like Daniel saying that he wants to get a box of it before OrcaCon. No, I would not wish that on anybody. It is like the most painful, it sounds painful thing on himself. Like it's one thing to like gas a convention with your flatulence. It's another thing to like make your tum tum hurt. No, I'm serious. It's 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 painful. You're like, oh my gosh. You're like, what's wrong with me? I thought I was like something was wrong with me. <laughs> Oh, Saki do. Hey, Rado. <laughs> I see an ad <laughs> banner for Tushy Bidet <laughs> monitoring her. <stuff. 
<laughs> oh dear God! Just take the shell. Just, just give me that, Manny. I give know. Me I feel. Something. I feel we've gone down a path, and <laughs> oh. So anybody who's joined us right now, no, we do not talk about flatulence and poop. Uh, this is a podcast, or this is a channel about stream and start watching. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. <laughs> Stop wiping and start washing. <laughs> oh, God. Why? Uh, for what it's worth, if that's Richard behind the Rotto I feel like label is, right Richard. now, I feel like Richard chimed in on um, our <laughs> Automa, Automa. Oh, okay. And, oh, oh, I can't remember what he said for his pronunciation, oh, but he pointed good. out that it was short for automaton and oh. so he pronounces it just like the first part of that word autumn autumn automa automaton automa uh, automa yeah and, okay that's gonna be a tricky one for me because i know i've been <laughs> oh, saying oh game right is got... <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we're talking about poop and now he's reading rotto runs through I'm it so thing. sorry i'm so what a time for Rod to pop in the channel. Only bad things have happened now. It's like I'm Only never coming bad. back. <laughs> Rado runs. Oh no. Somebody oh, has finally no. uncovered the hidden meanings. Oh, wow. Like the timing of this. I'm so sorry. Hey. Okay. You know, it's that's me. a clinical condition, Richard. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Eat more pasta. <laughs> Sugar and spice. This is this is the thing. Woo! I can. <laughs> oh god! Happen. <laughs> no, God, freaking! You are such a bad person. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> oh. oh god! I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Woo! I'm so glad that in your being overwhelmed with hilarity, you still managed to steal a card from me. Thanks. Well, Thanks you know, it just worked out it that together way. To do that, Mandy. It just worked out that way. It just worked. <laughs> oh, good gravy! Wow. Well, that chat that that took a turn. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> a hidden meaning. Mm -hmm. What kind of garbage? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, there it is. Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> yeah, but at least mine had some context. You were Ric Flaring in the podcast out of nowhere. Come on. This is a There's... thing Mandy does. I don't want to I have so I I have a pair of cards. I don't <laughs> want to give you this card cuz I know what type of person you are now, but I I had to take the other card. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, love. oh you know. <laughs> you know what it means. Mur? I'm going to take that one. Okay, I think for what it's worth, uh -huh. I have 36 points. You have 37 points. The game ends for two players at 40 points, I think. So Ooh. this is probably our last hand. Thank you, Slivers. I was just about to say that. There is no such thing as Ric Flair out of nowhere. It, it is just, <laughs> it is appropriate at any time. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Come on, Sam. Uh, well, I'm going to kick your ass. All hurry right. Up. All right. There. Bring it. I got nine points. Beat it. You know, I'm quite frankly tired of your shenanigans today, and I'll be having none of it. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do about it, shark girl? Don't ever talk to me that's, about that. <laughs> that's what I thought. Nothing. <laughs> You're going to do nothing about it. I can't. I literally can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at what all those sharks did for you, huh? Oh, so ah. close. So close. Bum, bum, bum. Whoops, I was supposed to not be mean because it was your, your first game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got, you no. got cards and I got all hyper about it. Okay, let's let's just remove ourselves from the screen. <laughs> I'm like wheezing. It's so funny. Rado okay. runs <clears throat> through it. Yeah, I now, will, like... Like, like, literally... Gameritis guy has ruined 
me forever. Like, ruined forever. Worst timing. Worst timing for Richard to pop in. I'm so sorry. Wow. Uh, but everybody wow. wants that site about Kashi. I will send it to you because it is hilarious. <laughs> if you just want to laugh and you're having a bad day, this will take you out. It is so funny. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Yes, yeah. for yeah. sure. Say, clearly, I need to get that Tushy Bidet sponsor for my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate timing, right? Appropriate timing. Oh, <sighs> well, good game, Mandy. It good, was good, good and uh, lots of laughs. And <laughs> I mean, what you can't, <laughs> can't complain. Mandy, now, okay, so now you've played. What did you think of Sea Salt and Paper after your first play? Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, obviously, my memory is terrible, but I still feel like I was able to get a handle on it. I even, there was a moment of tension there. I might have won. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I mean, really, going to, I know that there's a 10 point differential, but really, sure. we were, you were ahead going to the last round. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, so, I mean it could have been like a one well card done. difference. You know what I mean? So, I'm not mad at it. Yes, it's a 10 uh, point slide, as you were saying, but. Could have gone the other way. So not mad Absolutely. at it. Good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you all, if you hadn't learned how to play, you have a better understanding of it. You can try it on Board Game Arena yourself anytime you want. Um, I can't speak for any um, bidet, you know, your bidet <laughs> needs or your your Kashi fart needs. That Mandy's got you covered on that. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I'm so posting it on Twitter today, right maybe. after this. I am putting a Twitter post up. Laugh. Just don't hurt yourself crying. Exactly. Poop. A uh, loop. <laughs> oh, good God. All right. All right. We're... So wait, before we go, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we could do a little uh, blurb of some of the things coming up. So we dropped the podcast today. Dropped it. Dropped it. Episode eight, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. I review um Sea Salt and Paper and yeah. I review Joan of Arc, the draw and write game. Mm-hmm. So that was fun. Yeah, so you had a couple of good games there. I'm trying to think what I did. Space, Starship, Cap Captains? Oh, why can I never remember this? Oh yeah. It, yeah, Starship Captains. Starship Cap Oh, well, look at that. Ah, that's so nice. A little uh, sticker. And there was a little noise. Beep. <laughs> you did Cristallo and Starship Captains. Cristallo and Starship Captains. There you go. So thank you for that. The sticker was very nice. And uh, what else is coming up? We have stream next week. What are we doing next week? Voyages? Yeah, I mean, next week is kind of a slow week for, for me and for you. And so we thought, hey, let's let's do it again. So um, are we going to stream those Ship of Fools or what are we doing? I have to check the schedule. Well, I posted this. Okay. You think I'd know it by heart, right? But I posted the schedule on the Salt and Sass on Twitter, and I pinned it. So check that out. But I know we have a couple things planned out. I think you're right. We have Ship of Fools, Voyages, and then I think Oros we have coming up as well in the new year. So that's something to look forward to. And then David and I will be streaming Sky Mines in the new year as well. So, yeah, a couple nice good one ones for you. there. So, yeah, so that'll keep you up to date. And the, if you haven't seen or, sorry, heard the podcast, but you prefer to watch, we are also on YouTube. So we have a video of the podcast as well. So you have some options. And um, Suzanne was uh, set up the BGG forum. So if you want to just have a conversation or talk about Kashi or bidets. Chime in on how to pronounce Adama. Huh. Uh, so nervous. Uh, Guild 4131 on BoardGameGeek.com. <laughs> so yeah, so Pumpy Thimble, we're only on episode eight. So you got lots of time to catch up. And they're not too long. We're trying to keep them to about an hour. Um, I think that's probably as much as most can handle of me. <laughs> so all good. But yeah, Cristalo was enjoyable. Less fart content, <laughs> but equal amounts of Ric Flair. Go figure. <laughs> Sorry. Wait till you hear episode eight, the farmer in the Dell. I don't even, I'm sorry. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, there it is. Woo! I even got my mom doing it. I can hear. <laughs> Whew. Okay. But yeah, I think this is our, this is my last stream before Christmas. So yeah, Merry so Christmas to people who Merry celebrate. Christmas, and happy Hanukkah. For everybody who's celebrating Hanukkah right now, happy Hanukkah. I think there's also like winter solstices going on. Kwanzaa. Is that today? Anything? Yeah. No, solstice but I think it's in today. this. Yeah. So. Yesterday? Today. Is it today? Yesterday? Ah, I'm not whatever. sure. But 
Holidays, happy holidays to whatever you're celebrating to everybody or not celebrating. That's okay, too. Uh, is there anybody streaming right now that we can, uh, oh, gosh, every time we do this. You're so bad at rating, and I'm not criticizing you because I to help. It's a uh, room fifty one live is is on. They're room all they, we tend 51, to fifty one, and it's just room fifty one. No, room fifty one live. Oh, all together. Yeah. Okay. May your celebrations be like your stools. <laughs> Richard, Salad. you're welcome back anytime. You just <laughs> cause all kinds of trouble, and I like it. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, wow. Well, so we're just online for a fishing lesson. <laughs> Wow, Suzanne, That's... you walked right into that one. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, 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 we're going too far now. We're okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this raid. Okay, slash. Uh, yeah, raid, <laughs> space, and then the name, right? Okay, we're going to try it. I, oh, I'm sorry. If it's wrong, you'll see it. <laughs> oh, and guess what? I Remember how I told you this thing wasn't going to let me sign in? It just did it. It let me type, and now it's not letting me type. Oh, and then room 51 just disappeared. So I don't know what's happening. But All whatever. right. Well, I'm sorry. But if they're still there. Oh, the site just went offline. Well, that could be why. <laughs> All there right. But go. that's okay. We'll leave it for now. We'll but call it good. Man. Yeah. So uh, room 51 live. You can pop over there and see what they're doing. We will be back next week with more streaming and shenanigans. And I'm sure more interesting conversations about health and taking care of your- more elegant and delicate refined conversations there Indeed. we go remember stop wiping start <laughs> all right end the stream end the stream okay. all right everybody gotta go gotta go bye bye <laughs>